Hello everyone. In this video, I have came up with a very interesting topic that how you can generate technical documentation for your Power Apps, Canvas App, and Power Automate flows. But before this uh, video and going into this deep dive of this video, details of this video, I really want to thank the contributors of this GitHub project, which are uh, Rene and Aiden. So I really want to thank them for bringing this uh, Power Docu. So what is Power Docu is it helps you to generate the technical documentation for Canvas apps and Power Automate flows. So generally in, a, in our scenarios, when we work with clients, when we work with projects, we mainly focus on the development part. We mainly focus on architecture, its architecture, development, usefulness and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, when you deliver your apps to the customers, to the end users, you have to do a lot of detailed documentations at the end of the day, maybe high level design documents or low level design documents. Now, with this uh, utility, I will say Power Docu. Power Docu is the utility name. It's a GitHub project and contributors here are Rene and Aiden. But with this Power Docu, what you can do, it's so powerful tool which I came through recently that once you build your Power Automate flow or app in a Canvas app, you obviously want to document it as uh, so that others can understand it. Let's say other developers want to understand your app or other developers, they want to understand the configurations, maybe which is kept somewhere else in your app or your app is too big to understand. So doing the manual documentation is always very, very hectic, right? And that's where the Power Docu comes into picture, which allows you to generate technical documentation on the fly dynamically. So if I, if I scroll through this, Power Docu contains a Windows GUI executable. So you have to just install it in your uh, maybe personal laptop or system that this is a GUI executable. It You have to download it, install it, and it will do the wonders for you. Really, I am going to show you the demo in this video. But because it allows the automatic generation of the technical documentation in uh, maybe a Word document format or a Markdown format. Markdown format means to you can host it again in GitHub or Azure DevOps. So this is kind of a Power Docu GUI, I will say, which is very, very powerful. I have literally uh, maybe used it for my purposes. And if I talk about that, how you can install it and what are the different releases. So you see here the current release, which I saw is version 2.0.0. This is the latest release where some fixes have been done. So what you can do, how you can start using it, what I did that I installed this zip file. That is the first step. So you can install this zip file, uh, probably this power docu version 2.0.0 zip. This is the first step. So once I installed it, so what happened is this power docu uh, folder got created. And if I go inside this folder, you see a lot of uh, maybe exe files, libraries, application, application extensions are available. And here you can see the power docu.gui.exe. Very, very powerful. So it allows you to do the technical documentation altogether. It will go to very deep level. Uh, if you do, let's say for a Canvas app, just for an example, I did it for a Canvas app and flows both. Today, I'm going to show you in this video how it can generate the technical documentation for your Canvas app within few seconds. All right. So let me click on this EXE. What will happen? This EXE will open like this. You can see it's a very, very good UI. I will say very neat, very clean. In the first screen, they are talking about some settings to be configured. And in the second step or the next step, they are talking about generating it. So output selection, you can either select, as I said, uh, Microsoft Word, it can generate, Markdown, it can generate or all. So I'm just selecting Word. It is showing a very good icon here or it is telling you to select a Word template as well. Now documentation options. What are the documentation options? You can do the documentation for Canvas app document all properties, let's say, for example. Canvas app document default values. All right. Now if you go to next, it, it is asking you to select the app or flow. It is asking you to select the app or flow or solution to a document. So you want to document the properties of a Canvas app or a properties of complete details, not even the properties, complete details of the flow or maybe a solution. 
So you you can select your app file or the solution file or the auto power automate file from this icon. So let me click on this. I clicked on it, and what will happen? It will allow me to select my let's say canvas app which I have recently exported. So when I exported my canvas app, it exported as a zip file. Let me select this file. I click on open, and now you see within seconds it has started the processing at the below. It has started creating the word docu documentation. It it is trying to understand maybe what are the connectors available. All the details I mean of your app will be listed and documented within few seconds. Now you see here app documenter. It it is saying created word document at this particular location. A total of one file were processed in let's say three seconds. Very minimal time. It has processed the app which I provided. And it has created the technical documentation for me. Now let's see this in action. What is the output of this utility? So you can see on my screen, it has created a folder solution poc underscore some uh, number or maybe probably let's say uh, some date which is today's date. Now uh, in this folder, if I go to inside this folder, there is one more folder, and you can see the documentation which it has provided. It's super powerful, uh, guys. I will say, please start using it, evaluating it, try it in your environments to to create the detailed technical documentation for your apps or maybe for your flows and solution. So if I go to this document, let's say for example, this is just an app which I created and I given it uh, as a as an input for this utility, which is Power App Documentation. Now you see it has created. Uh, app name documentation generated when the document is generated app statistics how many screens are there how many controls are there how many variables collections data sources resources everything uh, in detail it is providing app properties maybe if you scroll down it will it will give you the whole lot of information related to your app so now no more you have to generate uh, the technical documentation of your app manually no one has to sit Uh, maybe uh, for many hours and generate the documentation. Power Docu can do it within seconds for you. Now variables and collection. It is showing me there are zero global variables, thirteen context variables, and two collections in my app, which is really true in my case. So it has generated the exact right information for me. And if even if I go more deeper, uh, you can see that it is giving you the detailed information about your collections, about your variables. all those things it is giving in detail what are the properties being used on different controls so all these details are provided in this very well uh, documented word format i will say now you can see here it is giving you the complete structure of the controls and the screens which are being used you can see here a total of two screens are located in the app and a total of 64 controls are located in the app now you can see it has given you the complete snapshot complete image of your app how it is being used within your app so that's where uh, it is giving you the detailed controls the controls information what are the different controls their properties so very well uh, documented i will say uh, documentation it has generated so that's all in this video uh, i will really recommend you to start evaluating and using this power docu uh, utility which is uh, windows based gui execut executable which helps you to generate the technical documentation thanks for watching this video